Good morning. This is Saturday, May, March 4. This is Greg Taylor, one of your servant leaders here in our teacher office. We want to say that we have a very special presentation getting ready to start. A lot of our members are here that have come from far out just to understand the program and to also meet the CEO and servant leader of our company, Roberto Aguilar. Of course, he's not here yet. <laughs> anyway, my name is Greg Taylor, and I am one of the servant leaders who actually have been here for quite a while. One of the things I want to say is, if you think it's easy standing up here in front of the camera, it's not, because you never know what you're going to say. But if you speak from your heart, like we always do, it makes sense, and it makes two. A certain young lady who's sitting in the audience text me this week and she said one person couldn't be here but I said that's okay as long as you're here it makes two because she has a big heart and she's also a very close friend of Mr. Robert Aguilar she's known Robert longer than me I mean I've known Robert a long time but I didn't get down on my knees and pray with him like she did so I'm really kind of enthused about having her come up here giving a little bit of a presentation. She didn't know I was going to do this. I want her to come up and I want her to give her why she has joined and has become a very strong leader in the company 360. Miss Rumashev! Welcome back. Thank you, Daddy Craig. Thank you and for you. this surprise. <laughs> <laughs> and you got um, the mic. Thank you. We'll Before put I put purse. down my purse, well, because I was going to put it because it's so heavy, I just want to show everybody what I always have in my purse. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. I love the packaging. It's black and classy, and it's got everything, all the uh, instructions and the benefits on the back. And our EPA registration. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> okay. Thank you. But I just wanted to show you that before I put that down. And um, it has been my lucky charm, I guess. Um, so my why. I have several reasons why I do what I do. And uh, I share this with, uh, I share this to uh, my friends and family because I think it's a blessing. Um, it doesn't just help a lot of us um, save money. It is also a way for us to uh, make money. And um, a lot of us have um, goals for our family, right? Um, whatever that is, like for me personally, if, I mean, people who really know me, they know I love to travel and take my kids places and make memories and that entails um, financial assistance and um, this industry that I love has given me that chance and um, it has given me a lot of options um, I was able to cut down my hours at work um, so I can spend more time with my family and um, I was also uh, given a chance to see the world with my husband. And uh, if my kids are off, they uh, come with us. Um, so just like um, my, my husband and I just came back from um, um, Sydney, um, Australia, and Fiji. Thank you, Lord, for this um, opportunity. And thank you also for my mommy, who took care of my boys. They were in definitely in great hands. Um, but my boys' spring break is next week, so we're taking them to Miami and Key West. It's first time for us and um, to see that part of the world. And, and it's, it's, it's a blessing. And guys, you know what? Um, uh, because of this uh, industry, um, 
like I said, you know, um, it has given us just so much. And that's the blessing that I'd like to share with each and every one of you. And that's why um, opportunities like this, you know, come once in a lifetime, I think. And sometimes it just comes our way once. And, um, you know, you just have to grab that chance. You know, like we always pray about what's, you know, like, you know, Lord, bring us something that, I mean, you know what's best for us and just give us that sign and and sometimes it's there right in front of you and you don't even want to and you look you look away and and this time you know um uh, i the reason why i share this with you is that maybe this is it for you this is it for us and um and um my prayer that it's also become a blessing to you and your family and that's why i don't think i will stop sharing this opportunity um and i know that there's a lot of good things in store for us um our ceo is one of the most generous per, uh, people i know and uh, he's all about giving back and that's exactly what i want to do you know I, I have received so many blessings and that's what i want is to uh, um, give back all these blessings and um um, I believe that when you are a blessing, you know, like um, God gives you more opportunities uh, to bless you and have that opportunity to be shared with others. So it just goes on and on. And, you know, we live in a better and happier place, right? So um, this place is um, like home to me. This is my second home, and every time I come here, and I'm sorry I haven't been here in like um, a couple of weeks, a <laughs> few weeks, and I'm going to be gone again, but each time I come, you know, it's like that warm, fuzzy feeling inside that just, it's irreplaceable, and, um, you know, thank you so much for coming. I see new faces, and and this is, is going to be a happy place for you as well. And we will all work together hand in hand and reach our goals together and help you reach your goals, whatever that is. So thank you so much for the opportunity to, to, uh, share, to be surprised. Um, but um, thank you. Um, um, Daddy Greg, thank you for everything that you do for us, you know, for all the support, for, for setting this up for us and for making this um, Artesia office a home to come to and thank you thanks everybody come on let's hear it for a little, yeah. look, look. let's Woo. hear it this is super super it takes two Saturday and one of the reasons why I'm standing in front of the camera is because I am a leader I'm one of the founders like you all are but I also am very enthused to see the people here, and we want to put it out. We want people to see our teacher for what it is. And on a day like today, when not only can we have the leaders in this company be sitting in front of me, the twos that I'm talking about, Manny and Sandra, Luce, and her husband, where's she, where'd he go? <laughs> Luce and Noel. When I can see couples like Mama Tina and her husband, I can never say your first name. Yep. No, not yours, his. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say your first name, Pop? No, no, no. Oh, my name? Yeah. The Nama? Say a mama, mama. Yeah. Did I say that right? Yeah. Say a mama. Say I say it right once. I'll say it twice. But do you understand? The names are very important to me because they represent who we are. We come from not just Long Beach, California, Carson, California, West LA, Artesia, Garden Grove. We come from many countries. And that means something to me. If you were in Guam, I probably would say, half a die, maybe. That means hello and goodbye at the same time. You go to Samoa, how do you say goodbye in Samoa? And how do you say hello? You see? These are the things you kind of pick up along the way when you travel. But when everybody is sitting in the room from all over the world, man, we have a very impressive salad bowl. 
and very impressive people to share their culture, the things that they have done in their own home. And guess what we share? We share our dream, our passion of giving back. It's not just the tablet that we're talking about. Guess what? I got news for you. We live in a new era. Gasoline may not be around much longer, just like the dinosaur. What are we looking for? Clean air, clean emission, and a better and stronger community. Anybody have one of the tabs on them? I like that. Everybody's just digging in their pocket. Look at that. There's nothing more important than what I read. Take your tabs out and take a look at the back. And I keep telling people this. The most important thing about our company, our community, is that we're able to say this one thing. This is so powerful, I'm almost jumping in the air. A portion of the profits goes towards building communities. Now, does that mean just here in LA, Artesia, we can build communities 360 degrees. And it's written right on the back of our label. Another thing that impresses me is the hard work that our leaders have been doing. Away from the camera, away from the glory. A lot of you would not understand. A lot of you that see me talking today, all across the United States, if you think it's easy putting this together, putting this little packet together, designing it, and getting it approved, believe me, I've been in those meetings. I've been sitting up late at night. It's called a sweat X that you don't want to go through. Because every time you think you got it right, up, something else changes. Something else needs to be added. Somebody's got a better idea. When you talk about a startup, you're talking about the community, the company, TC 360. And no one, no one is better to give you that understanding than the gentleman who's just driven, who knows from where, who knows how many miles. I don't even know if he sleeps anymore. I think he just slurps his coffee as he goes along. My good friend, our servant leader, our CEO, and the person that's giving back each and every day, Mr. Robert Aguilar. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Oh, gosh, I give up. I think I'm overweight. I can't reach my back. Here, why don't I take this out? See, I lost my train of thought. I was so excited. <laughs> Excitement is temporary. Remember that, right? Yes, <laughs> Commitment is permanent. How about now? Is that better? Yes, Where am I? Oh, I'm in Artesia. <laughs> That's very good. That's very good. You know, I, I walked in here. I actually brought my guitar so we can have a little get together after this. Uh, have you guys done? Do we have any guests here? Yes. Yes. We just had one sign up. Oh, very good. Your name? Guillermo. Guillermo. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> and your name again, I didn't get. Wendy. Wendy, a pretty girl. Thank you for allowing me to be here today. Let me just begin by saying I have goosebumps by saying this. It's good to see you, Pastor Hawkins. I've been praying for you and Cassandra. You know, it, you, you'll know that about your servant leader that I, I tend to get emotional because I speak from the heart. I'm very passionate in what I do. And, and this morning, am I doing presentation or am I yeah, you're gonna do everything. talking? Okay, <laughs> we'll, we'll, go, we'll go over, we'll you go over, we'll go, we'll, go, we'll go over everything today just to make you understand, to echo what Greg was saying, because I walked in here, he was trying to rally, make, make us understand about 
about what we have. Do we all believe that we're trying to put together a billion dollar company? Yes. yes. We believe that. Yes. Very good. Very good. So in other words, the reason why I ask that question, because we need to do a, a reality check from time to time. You know how it is when, you, when you're doing something, and, and I think we, we, we all are people with faith. Yes, if you agree? Yes. yes. It's very good to know that we all are people of faith. But the question is, what is faith? Faith, by definition, is a realization, okay? Realization of things hoped for. That's what faith is. An evidence of things not seen. So do we have faith? Yes. yes. It's a realization of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. So in other words, that's what faith is about. We don't walk by sight, we walk by faith. Yes. So if we have faith, why is it that when we go through struggles or hiccups or hurdles or difficulties, all of a sudden we begin to question? Can you imagine that? I repeat, when we have faith, why is it that when our spouse said something wrong, when our business partner does something wrong, when our children does something wrong, all of a sudden we question, right? Why? Is that your faith? Because if our faith is strong, then we got to hold hands together. If our faith is strong, and we believe that we're trying to put together a billion dollar company, then we got to hold hands together. I always say opinion is free. Everybody's got one. <laughs> this is just my opinion. You don't like it? Go. <laughs> but you see, this opinion is what makes us who we are. Our faith is what makes us who we are. More often than not, whenever I go to places, I get filtered all the time. When I go to different communities, I get filtered. When I say I get filtered, I get filtered by the leadership. Because if you put me in front of a thousand people, I'll just be me. I don't have any cheat sheet. I'll just be me. But sometimes within the leadership, no, 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 no. We got to filter you, Rob. We, we got to slow down. You know, we got to slow you down a little bit. No, no, because I believe that we must learn to appreciate the partial accomplishments that we have. What are these partial accomplishments? You see, 90 days ago, I don't know if, if the email that's been uh, coming from a CEO has been sent out. Anyone received yet? Because I, I put together an email. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a very good email coming from the CEO. I want to start communicating with everyone now at least once or twice a week through this email from the CEO. So nothing yet. So maybe it'll be sent out tonight. Because again, they have to filter, you see? You have to filter making sure that my grammar is right, that my English is correct. Don't forget, I'm a Filipino, so, you know, it's, um, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's, 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 it's got to be checked, right? There, it's got to be proofread. It's got to be the whole nine yards. You know, you don't just go in front. This right here is impromptu. You see, no one filters me. I like it. That's why I love Artesia, because <laughs> I get to be me. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and that's exactly, that's exactly what I want to show the world. That's exactly what I want to prove the entire organization, that the Artesia people are the very people who will carry out the mission. And what is the mission? Two. The mission is to change the culture of network marketing. That is our mission. You see? The mission is when someone asks you, what is the mission of your company? Our mission is to change the culture of network marketing. Wow, that's a very big statement. It's like when you talk to someone who knows the industry, it's like, really? How do you plan on doing that? And then what do you do after that? Uh, I don't know. I, I, just, I just know it's the mission. You're done. You just lost that person, right? But if you truly know the reason behind why the mission of changing the culture of network marketing, can anybody help me? What makes it a good mission? Changing the culture of network marketing. Can you give me one at least? One reason why you believe that we're changing the culture of network marketing? We're not leaving anybody behind. Okay. And um, our compensation plan is all about giving back. 
Very good. Very good. You see, that's a good example why the mission of our company is changing the culture of network marketing because we're not leaving anybody behind. What does that mean? Not leaving anybody behind is, is what? Fairness, justice. But, but more help each, other. help each other. There you go. You want to make sure that this is not a, a sprint. Greg says that all the time. This is not a sprint. It's not how fast you can run. No. It's how consistent you become. That's what makes us different. This is not about you bringing in 10 people. It's about you bringing in your two. Once you've done your two, technically speaking, you see, I'm not allowed to say that. Technically speaking, once you've brought in your two, Jenny, you said? Wendy, Wendy I'm sorry, forgive me. Because your face caught me rather than the name, so forgive me. <laughs> So Wendy, once you bring in your two, you have brought in your two, technically you're done. But your goal now is to educate your two. You see, that's the reason why in our lifestyle video you see educating over recruiting. Guillermo, this is not about bringing in 10 people or 20 people. It's just about bringing in your two. Once you brought in your two, you've done your part. Now you go to your two. Let's say my, one of my two is, 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 is Manny. Manny, you're one of my two. You're my number one, and, and uh, Luz, you're my number two. I'm going to focus on Manny. Let's get your two. Luz, let's get your two. That's what I'd like for you guys to duplicate. We say in our compensation plan, help your two become like you. And a lot of us may be doing this. I bring in Manny. I bring in Luz. I'm going to bring more because I want to be recognized as one of the best recruiter. Meanwhile, I leave Manny and I leave Luz. And Luz try to reach out to me. I don't have time because I'm busy recruiting because this is what the leadership wants, right? It's okay. But if I don't have time for her, I just left her dead in the water. If I don't make time for Manny, I just left him dead in the water which is not our mission. Our mission, like Romy said, is no one gets left behind. How do we grow if I'm constantly just going out there looking for other people? How? The way we can grow is by me making sure that Manny, in his first week, in his first week, is able to bring in his two. And if Manny is not able to do that, I'll come back to him and say, Manny, who is your doctor? I'll ask him that, and he'll say, why? Because you, you got to see your doctor. <laughs> and he'll go, what do you mean? Well, if you don't have two people, there may be something wrong in you or with you. And I don't say this with offense. I believe that everything is about strategy. Anybody familiar with Gideon from the Bible? When Gideon said to God, how am I going to fight those 120,000 soldiers when there's only 10,000 of us? Gideon asked God. He didn't trust. And God said, well, not yet. Hold on. Why don't you gather your 10,000 troops and have them drink water by the stream? What for? Just, just do what I say. He gathered the 10,000 troops around the stream. 9,700 of them dropped their shield and their sword. And they started drinking water. The 300 of them held onto their shield and their sword and started drinking water like this. Are you following me? And Gideon said, okay, God, I've done what you asked me to do. What do we do now? The 9,700 sent him home. And Gideon said, what? The 9,700 sent him home. Keep the 300. Okay, I don't get this. We are 10,000 in total, and we're fighting over 100,000 soldiers down the hill. Gideon, send the 9,700 because you don't need them. They're not ready to fight. The mere fact that they went down like this, they're not ready to fight. They put down their swords and their shields. They're not ready to fight because they're drinking like this. They're not mindful. The 300, on the other hand, are holding onto their swords and their shields and drink, they're drinking water like this. They're ready to fight, even while they're drinking. 
They're ready, just in case someone comes up. Long story short, the 9,700 were sent home. And Gideon said, now we have 300. We're done. We're done. I don't know what you're coming up with, but we're done. And God said, march down. God said to Gideon, march down. March down the hill until you get to the bottom without question. Just march down. And Gideon's probably shaking, right? How am I going to do this? 100,000 soldiers, 300 of us. But he listened to God and he said, let's go. And while they were marching down the hill, I think some of you, if not all, probably knew what happened. They were marching down the hill and God has created a noise. God has created a noise, a such noise that made it sound like from the soldiers down at the bottom of the hill, sounded like they were more than a hundred thousand soldiers marching down the hill when in fact they were just 300 and because of that noise the military down below the soldiers down below got were rattled they were rattled they all panicked they started running and killing each other and they they just they scrammed you see this story i'm sharing with you is about faith Faith is a realization of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. That right there was an example of Gideon putting his trust to God. This morning, the message I have is have a different spirit. That's the message I want to share in this great group, our TG group. This is our family. I want to see the organization of DC360 to know that the Artesia team duplicates that the Artesia team is not about how fast you can run but it's about how quick you can duplicate and through faith because we have faith we will be able to educate our people God's people we will be able to duplicate we already understand that the reason why the mission of our of our company is to change the culture of network marketing because we already know it's 97 percent failure and if we're just going to do what we've always been doing, what makes us any different? Really, what makes us any different? I've been in network marketing 27 years. The last time I worked for someone was back in 1989. So you can just imagine how old I am today. Oh, God. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. That was a bad move. But you see, because I believe that we should get paid for what we're truly worth. Now, I'm not talking down to the people that are working. Good for you because you got something coming into you every 15th and 30th. Good. But what about those whose TC360 is 100%? What about those? I speak for myself because as a servant leader, I've given myself to you all. I've given myself, my dedication, my life, I give it to you all. And every time you see me speak here in our Artesia sanctuary, according to Greg, rest assured that I will always only be speaking from the heart, that I will not give you a story, that I will lay down every information that I give to you as an information coming from my heart. TC360, I believe, is right around the corner. I believe that in my heart. And that when we are attacked by challenges, by difficulties, by hurdles, it's because the other side ain't happy to see where we're going. If you think that hurdles and hiccups and challenges is because God is punishing you, you're wrong. When we go through challenges, I'd like to use Pastor Hawkins. Not too long ago was hospitalized for a while. Today he's here. Because he does not allow challenges to stop him from his mission. Do we have the heart of Gideon? Do we have the heart of a man or a woman that truly believe? Oh Lord, I'm just going to believe you if things are well. If things don't go right, well, I'm going to have to question you. There was this man who asked God one time, Lord, what is, what is, what is a million dollars to you? God's ads just like a penny. 
Really? What is a lifetime to you? Well, to me it's just like a second. Really? Lord, I've been faithful to you. Can, since you said it's just like a penny, can, can you give me a million dollars? In a short pause, and God said, wait a second. <laughs> Some of you didn't get that, huh? Because he asked God, what is, what is a lifetime to you? You know, it's just like a second. What is a million to you? It's like a, a penny. So, yeah, can you give me a penny? You know, can you give me a million? Because it's like a penny. Okay, wait a second. Because that's sometimes the way we are. We think that just because we have faith and we believe that everything in our lives will just work out good and dandy. Is that what we expect? Because if that's what we expect, then we got to wake up to reality. The reality will tell us that these hiccups and hurdles and challenges that we may go through is what molds us to become a better person. That's what it is. That's what I believe in my heart. That's why no matter how much challenges we go through in TC360, I have this face to show you. Because I don't have doubt that our success is within our reach. That's why we go through challenges. Our success is within our reach. That to me is power. We've come a long way from nothing. I want you to know that. I want you to know that I didn't become a CEO of a company because I'm floating up in the air with money. I became a CEO of this company because I want to lead this company. I want to rally for this company and I want to lead the pack so that we can achieve the goal that we are aiming to get to. And that is to change the culture of network marketing. What Romy has shared with us is just one that makes us different. No one gets left behind. It only takes two. Majority of network marketing out there will allow you or will require you to constantly recruit. Say yes if you agree. Yes. That if you get into a bonus, oh, I got a bonus. You know, I got a car bonus. I'm getting 400, 500, 600. The following month, you better recruit. <laughs> Otherwise, you end up paying for your car. We don't have that in TC360. In TC360, when you reach a platinum position, you get a free car. That's another reason why we are changing the culture of network marketing, because you get a free car when you get to a platinum position. How many have you brought in? Can you imagine the power of the rank advancement? Robert Proctor from Multisoft, okay, Multisoft, you can look them up, Google them. They're the ones working on our software now. I was on a call with them for three hours, Florida, including Arizona, going over. And Robert Proctor himself, the CEO of the company, says to me, Rob, I don't know if you know this, but your compensation plan is a monster. He's a software developer. I don't know if you know this or your people know this, but your compensation plan is a monster. That's the reason why since December they've been pulling their hair. I choose not to because I don't want to run out of hair. But literally I felt like I was talking to kids who don't know what we have. I felt that way. You know what it is that makes me feel like this comp plan is in the back of my hand? It's because we created it. This is our comp plan. We've put together a lot of components from many other network marketing so that we can better our comp plan. Like the car bonus of just an allowance every month, we made it a free car. In the beginning, Mike Sheffield, See, I'm now in freedom to share that with you, but you just can't go out there selling the people that are backing us up so you can bring people in. No, that would make it illegal. But I'm now freely say, saying to you that Mike Sheffield, the Sheffield Group, Google it. They're the ones that helped us language our comp plan. 
I am now in the freedom of sharing with you that our legal counsel is Jeff Babner, one of the best MLM lawyer in the world. We have them on board with us. So if you think that these things cost nothing, you're mistaken. But we decided to have them on board because you know why? We want to do everything correct. To me, that's power. We want to do everything correct so that when we go out there, we're not fearful of what we have. When we go out and explain our compensation plan, we're not thinking, will this work? You see, will this work? So I want you to come from abundance rather than come from scarcity. Come from abundance because what you have in your hand is something that you can take to the bank. That's what you have in your hand. If you've done more than two, good for you. But this is not a company that will say, no, you've got to bring more. You've got to bring more. You've got to bring more. No. This is a company that you want to reach out to your downline and say, Romy, let's get you two. Oh, I'm done with my two. Now let's move forward to your two. Let's help your two become like you. You don't want to just go out there and say, oh, how great this, this product is. Oh, this product is so great. You know, you put it in, you, you gas up, and then it gives you mileage and so on. We already know that. We already know that this product works. Say yes if you agree. Yes. We already know that. What I'd like for you to know now is what are your plans in moving forward? That's what I'd like to know. You see, the re-entry program is above and beyond. The re-entry program, first it doesn't cost you anything. You get product for it. You get paid for it. It doesn't cost you auto ship because your auto ship is only what? Just your, just your top position. That's it. You could end up with three or five free positions to help boost your matrix, and you're not paying for any of them, and you're getting paid for all of them. Where have you seen a comp plan like that? Really? Where have you seen a comp plan that allows you to get a $360 worth position for free and get product for it, and get paid all the pairing bonuses for it and the rank advancement incentives for it and not require you to have an auto ship in that reposition. Where? I mean, if you can tell me, maybe we should join them. <laughs> Are we trademarked? Yes. yes. No one can replicate this? We can't. Jeff Babner has already told me, Robert, I know what you want to do, but we can't. Why? Because if your goal is to truly change the culture of network marketing, it is no different from me working with you. I don't need money, Rob. But I'm working with you because I see your heart. We've had 800 plus MLM companies in our book of business. I can only count in my fingers the ones that we brought to a billion dollar company. Herbalife, Melaleuca, New Skin, Mary Kay, Avon. Nerium is with them. Nerium is in trouble a little bit right now. But think about it. For a, one of the best MLM lawyers say this to you, Guillermo, I'm now ready to take you to a billion dollar company. How would you feel? Right? That's what he said to me during the MLM convention in front of the leaders. I'm now ready to take you to a billion dollar company because you're coachable and you're teachable. So if you're trying to protect your compensation plan, I want to be the first to say, you can't. You said to me that you want other companies to copy it. I said, yes. Because there's only one thing that can happen if other companies copy it. What is it? No, no. When other companies copy it, that means they're giving back to the people. Because our comp plan is designed that way. We don't need to patent it. He said you can, but one little, one little, tweak, one little tweak in, in the comp plan, you can't sue them. All they need to do is do a little tweak. It's like me. If I'm a singer, I compose a song. And the entire song, you decide to copy it. You just change, change one word, I can't go after you anymore. 
That's what it is. So our comp plan does not need to be patented. Our comp plan, we have to be the first to really grow TC360 based on our comp plan. It won't be easy for companies to copy it. I don't know if you realize that. It won't be. Why is that? Well, because I'll, I'll give you an example. Herbalife, they have millions of distributors. For them to change their comp plan, similar to us, will cause them to lose a lot of people. The programming, the whole nine yards. The programming alone of our software is anywhere from 250 to a million dollars. 250, even if I go to Hollywood Boulevard and Sunset Boulevard every night, I don't think I'll be able to raise $250,000. <laughs> And this is the reason why I want to share with you the power of what we have. The power of what we have is very strong. Very strong. That's the reason why you've heard me from the very beginning. Ask not what the company can do for you. Ask what you can do for your company. Because your company is this. This is your company. This is not mine. This is our company. But the hardest part of it is that if I'm the only one carrying the burden of understanding and realizing why we do the things that we do in TC360, that's kind of heavy. That is kind of heavy. I'm not asking you for money. I'm asking you to do your two. You see? Because we want the world to see that our compensation plan is the most powerful compensation plan out there. I'm asking you to do your two. And if you think you've done your two, good for you. But help your two get there too. And if you've done that, good for them. But don't stop. Help them get there too. Don't worry about the, the other groups who are bringing in countless applications. Don't be intimidated by these things. No. The strategy is to be like Gideon. We want Artesia to make that sound when we're going downhill as if there's over a hundred or two hundred thousand of us coming from Artesia. You don't want, and our plan right now is to have the event this coming June at the Sony studio for our nationals. That will get solidified. But you don't want to walk in the Sony studio like this. Oh, oh. Oh, hi. Now you want to walk into that event with your head up high because I've done my two. That's what I'd like for you to do. You walk in there with your head up high because you know that you've done your two. And if you haven't, then you're right. You walk like this. <laughs> See, the goal is, you see, sometimes we get caught up with thinking, how do I become a producer? I got to bring in 14. Wrong. How do I become a producer? Bring my two. Bring my two. That's how I become a producer. Once I've done that, help my two bring their two. Once I've done that, help my four bring their two. Once I've done that, I'm a producer. I get a free position. I get a new set of products. I get a new set of income streams for my pairing bonuses. Can you imagine the power of what you have? What you have is powerful, ladies and gentlemen. But not until, not until you see it the way I feel it, you will not grow. I feel TC360 in my blood. You cut me open. It'll come out, T, C, 3, 6, D. You cut me open, that's what's going to come out. I hope not tablets. Thank you, Jim. I hope not fuel tablets, but you cut me open, that's what's going to come out. Letters and numbers. Because that's what I feel in my blood. That's what I feel in my vein. Do you think it's good to come up here like this without a cheat sheet and feel so convicted? Do you think I can fake this? You can't fake passion, ladies and gentlemen. You can't. You can't fake 
pain. Because just as a body without spirit is dead, faith without works is dead. You see? And that's the reason why we are called to go out there to be the soldiers, to be like Gideon. Don't look out anywhere else. Put a blinders. I am out there focused to do my two. That's it. What am I going to accomplish my two? I'm going to do it today. I'm going to do it this week. I'm going to do it this month. I'm going to do it this year. I'm going to do it in my lifetime. Make a decision, whatever it is, make that decision. This is not about you got to do it today. No. Your decision is what matters the most. I'm not here to tell you when because we're all on a journey. Say yes if you agree. Yes. And that's the reason why my message today is have a change. Have a different spirit. Trust in God's timing because God's timing ain't going to be late. Our timing, oh, it sucks. <laughs> Our timing sucks. I promise you that. You think you got it all figured out, Wendy? Your timing, oh, I'm going to go, oh, I'm going to put my makeup on. And then all of a sudden, you get stuck in traffic. Sucks. Right? Oh, I have an appointment tomorrow. I'm going to do everything and prepare everything. And The morning you wake up, life gets in the way. Sucks. Our timing sucks. Say it. Our timing sucks. That's the reason why we rely on God. Because God. God's timing is perfect. When things don't happen the way you expect them, please don't blame anyone. Embrace it. It's just the way it is. For you women out here, I commend you. Why? Because these women know exactly what it means to go through labor pains. You don't. I don't. I hope not. <laughs> See, these women out here, and I say this with passion, not including you young ladies, okay? These women out here who have had children, they know what it means to go through labor pain. Do you appreciate that? Do we appreciate what they've gone through? But when they're delivering that baby, it's almost like regretting everything that they've gone through in life. They're, they're, they're pushing it. They're pushing it. They're embracing this pain. And after that labor pain, a miracle comes out. That's your baby that you bring into this world. Have you ever felt that labor pain? Have you? We have not. And that's the reason why I commend these ladies, the mothers, who had delivered their babies because they know what it means to go through labor pain. And just because you can't recruit your two, you think you're going through your labor pain. And just because someone says no to you, you think you're going through a labor pain. You think you've failed already. Just because you haven't brought your two, you think you've gone through a lot of labor pain. Wow. Really? Talk to a mother so you know what a labor pain is. Because I believe if we learn to embrace our labor pain, our miracle is right around the corner. Learn to embrace your labor pain. Whatever struggles, difficulties, hiccups, or challenges you go through, embrace it. I've had a hard time understanding whenever I hear Greg says to me, let's make it happen. I had a hard time understanding that. I ask myself, what does that mean when Greg says to me, let's make it happen? Correct me if I'm wrong. Only this morning did I come to realize what he meant when he says that. Because there are parts of me, that the human side of me, parts of me tells me, let's make it happen, but I'm not seeing anything happen. You see, that's the human side of me. Correct me if I'm wrong, Greg. This morning when I was praying, I finally understood what it means when he says to me, let's make it happen. He says that because that's what his faith tells him to do. He says that because he believes no matter how much struggles, hiccups, and hurdles we're going through, he believes that it's still going to happen. That rather than him 
crying over spilled milk, he chose to believe that things should happen. Let's make it happen. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's exactly why you never write anyone off. Don't write anyone off. I learned today, this morning in my prayer, you must not let, you must not write anyone off. You know what that means, right? Oh, this is no good. Because I, I did 10, he only did 9. Don't write anyone off. Because we're all on a journey. If you think you're doing so well today, don't look down to the other person who might be a little slower than you. Because you don't know what that person can do. And it might be a slap in our face to find out that Guillermo can do a better job than me. It might be a slap in my face. And that's the reason why I continue to learn. I don't ever want you to look at me as better than you because I'm not. I want you to look at me as equal as you are, if not less. I want you to look at me as a servant leader that's truly here to serve, not to be recognized, not to be looked up to, not to be said, oh, I can't talk to him, he's a CEO. Really? I already told you, if you see arrogance in me, come up and, and smack me in the head. Don't forget that. Pride, arrogance, and greed is what's going to bring this company down. Repeat after me. Pride, Pride arrogance, arrogance, and greed is what's going to bring this company down. So the minute you see in me pride, arrogance, and greed, come up to me and smack me in the head. The minute you see from your brother that brother is exercising pride, arrogance, and greed, come up to him and ask permission if you can smack him in the head. <laughs> because I gave you permission. But you see, rest assured that TC360 is not just a company. TC360 is going to be a community. TC360 is going to be the people of God that will continue to educate so that we can carry out the vision and the vision, lifetime vision of creating a community without poverty. Bravo. We come here today not because we want to be recruited. We come here today because we want to learn together as a team. We come here today not because you're expecting, oh, I want to I wanna have an ep epiphany. If, if Robert's going to be there, I want to have an epiphany. I want to have a, a... No, you come here today because you're important. You come here today because you're important. You come here today because you're important. All of you are important to TC360. And I wouldn't be able to do the things I do if not for you. If not for your faith in me, for your belief in me. I won't. Because out there is so tough. Out there is so wild. Can you imagine being able to talk to CEOs after CEOs of other companies? That they think I'm cuckoo? Of coming up with this compensation plan that they can't even figure out how to do? And to me, I'm thinking, Lord, are they stupid? <laughs> I'm going like that. I thought they were the gurus. Why can't they get me? And God says to me, be patient. Stand your ground. Dig your heels in. I've been taught to change our comp plan to make it a cookie cutter. I've been talked to that way. We have this. We have this, we have this. Why don't you just choose here, Robert? Why do you have to make your life miserable? Can you imagine being talked to that way? By the CEOs? Here. These are being used out there. You're trying to insist on this. We've never seen that in the last 30 years. Can you imagine being talked to that way? And I said... I want you to language that because that's what I want. I'm paying for the price for you to do your job. So I want you to language that. Gets into the software company, giving me a choice again. Why don't you do this, this, here, here, why don't you just pick? Everywhere I go, ladies and gentlemen, what would you have done? 
if you were leading PC360, what would you have done? Would you have just given in and say, you know what, these are the experts. They're, they're letting me. Can, can I take off my jacket because it's a little. Yeah, absolutely. You're only standing next to the heater. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's why I feel like I'm so hot. And, 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 and I say, can you imagine feeling that way, that no one trusts what you have? No one. No one trusts what we have. This was back in December. In December, I got sick for three weeks. Why? Because overstressed. I was tempted to just give in. I was tempted, even the leadership. I said, no, I'm going to stand my ground. I believe in what we have. What we have is sustainable. My fiance, who's an, an accountant, he's, she says to me, why don't you tell me exactly what you're trying to do? I'm not, I don't like to write. I told you that. I don't like to read. I told you that. I was challenged. I did the calculation on my own, manually, mathematically. And then my fiance started doing her, you know, you know how accountants are, you know, Excel sheet, you know, oh, that drives me nuts. And she did her numbers and matched it to what I've done, just talking. She says to me, how are you able to make these calculations without calculating it? And I said, just from the top of my head. Yeah, but what's coming out from the top of your, of your head is very close to what I've just calculated. And I calculated mine from the computer. I don't know, ask him. I said to her, ask, who? ask God, don't ask me. I said to her. I did my calculation, and I know that the compensation plan is sustainable. I know that. Even though the gurus have told me it may not be sustainable, that's why we want you to choose one, two, three. I said, no, it's sustainable. And then when they looked into it, they go, oh, oh, oh. And I finally spoke to someone from Florida. Her name is Brandy, and I'm, liberty to, I'm in liberty to share that with you. She's probably the smartest African woman I've ever talked to in the world in my lifetime. Stay with me. This woman is the head of, 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 of software development. She only works for Proctor. Proctor is a person I'm always talking to because he's a CEO. She finally came into the webinar and had me explain everything, and everything's recorded. All of our webinars are all recorded. And she made me explain everything, and she repeated everything that I've explained. Can you imagine the power of that? Yesterday, we talked again for three hours. I brought in, you know, I brought in uh, Jason in there, and, and, and we were talking. And she explained everything, because she's the one programming everything. And I said to her, Brandy, uh, yes, Robert, did I ever tell you that you're amazing? And Robert Proctor was there. And Robert said, Robert Proctor said, well, Rob, you know, I'm just a CEO, but she's actually the smart one. <laughs> Can you imagine that? So don't ever think, not even for one second, that just because I'm a CEO or a servant leader that I'm smarter than you. No. I don't want you to feel that way. Whatever talent you have, bring it to the table. Whatever talent you have, bring it to the table. What talent you have, bring it to the table. What talent you have, bring it on. Because that's what we're called to do. We are many parts, but one body. You may feel like you're an elbow. You may feel like you're a foot. You may feel like you're a finger. But without you, we can't function. And if we think that we're all going to be heads, can you imagine looking at a person with all, a lot of heads? That's bad. Whatever it is you do, bring it to the table. Because each and every one of us have a purpose to grow together in our Tisha for TC360. That's what I'd like for you to feel. And if you think that you've come here today so that you can feel good going home, not to mention, I think the food's here, so we're going to eat. Then after eating, we're going to, if you want to talk about compensation plan, I'm, I'm all in. We're going to go to the board. For those of you who are new, I'm all in. You're going to get the best of the best because you're going to ask the person who created it. Yes. 
So you don't have to worry about anything. But first, we've got to fill up our stomach, right? Yes. <laughs> so I want you to know, I want you to know that I am always humbled. I am always honored knowing that you take the time to continue to grow. You take the time to continue to learn. You take the time to continue to understand. But please, please, don't try to understand the whole compensation plan before you even move a finger. Don't. Because even the way software development is done, the initial release will be March 31. I'm not supposed to say this, so please don't reveal that to Rob or David or to I'm not the initial opening. The initial opening is March 31. I don't know if you've been to the back office already. You should all be logging into your auto pre-launch auto ship. Sign up on that already. Have you guys seen that? Not yet. No. You see? We're gonna show you that. It's now in our TC360 website. On the left corner where the pretty lady is, you click on that, sign up for your auto ship because now auto ship began already this month. Again, you're the first one because tomorrow will be the announcement of that. This is bad. I make Robin and David look bad. <laughs> They're just announcing that. They don't ever. <laughs> you can't say nothing. This is bad, yeah. That's the reason why they filter me. But what happens when I come up here and stand in front of you, I end up, I can't filter anything. And now she's recording me, and I'm, please keep it, okay? <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> this makes them look bad. They're going to complain. This is why you have us, because we're supposed to be the one to announce this. Well, they made me speak. I can't hold it. <laughs> so I want, you, I want you to know that in Artesia, you are special. In Artesia, you want the world to know that your servant leader lives in Artesia. Yes. You want the world to know that your servant leader lives in Artesia. And that's the reason why we want the world to know that in Artesia, we multiply. We multiply in Artesia because that's what God has called us to do. Go out and multiply. That's exactly what we want through this compensation plan. It takes two is about multiplication. It's not about how fast you can run, Wendy. It's not. It's how consistent you are in carrying out the mission and vision. So without further ado, I'd like to close in by saying, repeated action will become your habit. Your habit will become your character. Your character will become your destiny. So my question is, what is your repeated action every day? Repeated action becomes your habit. Your habit becomes your character. Your character becomes your destiny. What is your repeated action every day? Is your repeated action complaining all the time? Is your repeated action worrying all the time? Is your repeated action doubting your upline or doubting your downline or doubting the leadership or doubting the things that are happening? Are these your repeated action? Because my repeated action every day, if I may share with you, is praying every day, reading the Bible every day, praying to God every day, believing that what we have, no matter how many challenges we may go through, we will become a billion dollar company. Amen. My name is Robert Aguilar, your servant leader. Yes. Let's bless the food. Okay, we have all the food? Yes, we okay, do. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Father in heaven, we thank you. We thank you for being our God. We thank you for each and every one of us here today. Lord God, we thank you for being in charge of our lives. We thank you even for the challenges, Lord God, that you allow us to go through. We not pray that you don't let us go through the challenge, but we pray for the strength so that we will be able to surmount any difficulties, any challenges that may be presented to us. Lord God, give us the strength to be able to, to handle to overcome the hand that we are dealt with every day. Strengthen each and every one of us here today, each and every family. Bless each and every couple, each and every children, each and every woman and man, Lord God. May you continue to be the foundation of everything that we do. For without you, Lord God, we're nothing. Lord, continue to bless those who are, who are sick physically, mentally, and in spirit. 
Let your healing hands continue to be upon Pastor Hawkins so that he may be able to fully recover. And all those who are sick, Lord God, both physically, mentally, and in spirit, grant eternal rest to those who have gone before us, Father God. Comfort to those who are lost, those who are confused, those who are mourning and grieving. Lord God, you are the fountain of our lives. May you continue to be in our hearts and wiggle. Let your spirit wiggle in our hearts so that there'll be no room for any negativity, any bad spirit to go enter into our hearts. Not weariness, not worries. Wiggle. Let your spirit wiggle into our hearts, Lord God, so that you will continue to dwell in our hearts. Lord, bless this food. Bless especially those who have nothing to eat, the less fortunate, the hungry. Lord, you have taught us as we began the, the season of Lent that fasting is not about not eating or dieting. Dieting without praying or fasting without praying is just dieting. But fasting with praying, Lord God, we know is above and beyond. And to you in your eyes, the sacrifices we can do is to forgive our friends, to forgive, to forgive our enemies, to forgive those who have hurt us, those who persecute us. You teach us how to love our enemies. That is a true meaning of fasting. That is a true meaning of sharing in your passion, O Lord. So teach us, O Lord. Bless the less fortunate. Teach us to feed the hungry. Teach us to clothe the naked, Lord God. Teach us to visit the sick. And forgive us, O Lord, at times when we didn't make time to visit those who are sick. Without question, without excuse, forgive us for our shortcomings, Lord God. Allow this food to nourish us physically, mentally, as well as spiritually. And all of this, Father, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus, your Son. Amen. 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 Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Ladies first. Ladies first. Kudos for you, Robert. You're a genius. An absolute genius. Great vision. God be